Hey guys, my name is Scobie. Today I'm going to be showing you how to play Sega Saturn games on your Android device. This is going to be a nice, quick and easy tutorial. I'm going to be showing you step by step how to do everything. On screen right now you can see me playing some Resident Evil. Let's jump right into this. So I had previously made this video just over a year and a half ago, but it turns out the emulator I was using for this has been taking off the Play Store. Well, actually, it's just changed names and it's kind of been moved around a little bit. So I'm making this video as an updated one for people who can find this on the Play Store. And in this case, we're going to be installing our emulator from a .apk file instead of the Play Store. So you can always find this download method even if it gets removed from the Play Store. Let's jump right into this. So the first thing you want to do is open up your web browser and we're going to be coming to this link. Links as always are in the description down below. And this is going to be for the UO Yaboose emulator for our Android device. This is 100% free and I'm going to be leaving this link in the description down below. So all we need to do is come to this page and we're going to be downloading the latest version of the APK file, which in this case is going to be 2.1.5. All you want to do is download this and then once your download is done, we're going to be opening up our file and we're going to be installing it. Now, if you're having trouble installing APKs, you may not have the setting enabled that allows you to install apps from outside the Play Store. I'm going to be putting a card on screen to my previous video where I show you how to do that. You are going to have to do this in this case to install APK files. Once you've disabled, you can come back and locate to your file again. Then we're going to be clicking install on the bottom right and your application is going to install. Now this only took a couple seconds for me, but for you it may vary, but it shouldn't take too long really. And once this is done, we can click done on the bottom right and your file will be installed. Once this is installed, you can locate to where your application is. Currently I have mine on my homepage. And if we open it up for the first time, we should see it like this. It's a rather simple interface and we just have some text telling us where to place games. I'll get to that in a second. And if we open up the burger menu on the left, we can see some more options. One really nice feature in this emulator is that if you sign in, your saves will actually be stored in the cloud to your account, which is a really cool feature. So it's something you might want to look into if you're going to be using this a lot and you want to have your saves stored in the cloud. But anyway, the next thing we're going to be talking about and discussing is the games. Now I should mention, I'm not going to be showing you today's video or to download games, but games are still really easy to find. Even with the recent shutdown of EMU Paradise, it's still really easy to find games even without using any torrent files. But once you have your games downloaded, they are most likely going to come in a .zip or .rar file. Now for us to be able to open and access those files with this emulator, we are going to need to extract those files. So we are going to need to install another app. So for this, we're going to be opening up the Play Store and we're going to be searching for and installing a free extraction and compression software called Z Archiver. Now Z Archiver is 100% free and I'd recommend having it on your phone regardless of if you're using emulation and stuff like that. It's just a good file explorer and file compression software that I really recommend having. So what you need to do is get this installed. And once it's installed, we can open it up and then we can locate to where our games are that we just downloaded. So in this case, my game is in my download folder. So I currently have Sonic R.Rare here, but I also have Resident Evil. So what I'm going to be doing is selecting both of these games by clicking on our three arrows on the top right. I'm going to be clicking multi-select and I'm going to be selecting Sonic R.Rare and Resident Evil.Rare. From here, what we're going to be doing is clicking the tick on the bottom right. We're going to be pressing and holding on our files, and I'm going to be clicking the copy button. From here, we're going to go to the top again. We're going to go to our device memory. Then what we're going to be doing is copying these games to the specific folder that you boost can pick them up in. So we have a nice UI on our screen. So what we're going to be doing is going to our emulated storage on our Android device. We're going to be scrolling down and we're going to be looking for the Uboost folder. We're going to be clicking into this and then we're going to be clicking into the games folder here and then we're going to be pasting the games into this folder by clicking the clipboard on the bottom right which is going to drop our two games in here now this only took me a couple seconds as well but once again it depends on how many games you're transferring and how big your files are but once your games are transferred here what we're going to be doing is extracting our games by clicking on one of the games clicking extract here and then your game will extract now, depending on how big your game is, it may take a little bit longer or shorter to extract. But once we have this done, I'm also going to be extracting our Resident Evil game, extracting here as well. You can click skip as it's going to try to extract a readme.html file. But we don't need this for perfect execution of our games. But this step should be really easy to do. So once you have this step done, and you have your games extracted. But once this is done, this kind of shows the different formats games can be in. As you can see, our Sonic R is in a .iso file, which is one of the file formats we can read with our emulator. But you can see that Resident Evil is in a .bin and a .q file. So these are also readable by our emulator. So when you're extracting games, you're going to be looking for a .bin or a .iso. There's also another format of games that can be brought into this, which are cartridge games, which are .mfs or some variant of that that can be a little bit different to load and may have different performance for the simulator. So these are just little things to keep in mind. But once you have this done, we're going to be locating back to our emulator, which is Yaboos. 
We're going to be clicking on the burger menu on the top and we're going to be refreshing our game list. Now, since we have our games in that specific folder, all our games should show up here in a nice UI and we can click on and play any of our games. To load any of our games, all we need to do is click on them, like I said previously, and your game should load up. We can rotate our screen to the side. This may take a second or two for your games to actually start loading and playing, but this should work no problem. And as you can see, everything is running okay so far. Now, I would recommend getting a Bluetooth controller or something like this because the on-screen controls for this are really, really not that good. They feel a little bit awkward, especially the arrows on the left. And it's not like other emulators where when you press a button, it'll highlight and show that it's being pressed. So it's a little bit hard to tell exactly where you are. Even if you kind of have a good sense of space on this game but everything runs really really well now currently i'm running a snapdragon a45 with six gigabytes of ram so this simulator is 100 percent smooth and there's no issues playing with this game whatsoever it's really easy to set up and everything works really really well and it's as easy as that to play sega saturn games on your android device anyway guys if you enjoyed this tutorial be sure to drop a like subscribe if you're new check out the other videos on the channel i'm going to be leaving a link down below to my paypal if you found these videos helpful and you want to support me Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, as always, keep it saucy. Peace.